Hello everybody, how are you doing? I decided to uh, record the process of polishing my Red Wing boots that I got uh, about three months ago. And uh, I started off with the cloth, trying to figure out a way to kind of work the oil in with the microfiber cloth. And it was just a weird process because I couldn't tell how much I was getting on the cloth and how much was getting on the boot and kind of where it was going. And so what you're seeing right now is me struggling with this just a little bit. And eventually what I decided to try was just working the uh, the mink oil here into my fingers, uh, kind of like a soap, and then uh, working that into the boot instead, which I found was much more effective, but also allowed me to tactilely kind of feel uh, the areas that were in need of work and the areas that I had kind of gotten well. And so I was able to kind of work my way around the boot. Uh, I kind of tended to start up by the uh, heel, kind of work my way to the side of the boot and then to the front and uh, kind of get the whole thing really covered and make sure that everything felt like the oil had kind of been worked into the leather. And uh, that process was uh, a lot of fun to figure out. And I think this month, so this is actually footage from the beginning of November, believe it or not. We are January of 2023 at this point. Um, but this is uh, footage I just, with uh, being sick and kind of having to take a break from things a little bit, uh, a little older. But um, kind of once I finished up with the boot there, I'm wiping it down with the cloth to kind of get any excess oil off and kind of get them shiny. And then you're going to see me repeat the process with the other boot. Um, as far as these Red Wing boots go, uh, I got them at the... Uh, beginning, I believe, of October, uh, before I went on my trip to New Mexico. If you haven't seen that video, check it out on the channel. That was an amazing experience. Um, but uh, these boots took that trip down to the desert, uh, 26 or whatever it was hours in the car. Um, and of course, walking around, we uh, actually hiked the Rio Grande State Park uh, just a little bit, as well as Albuquerque. Um, and some uh, activities around there. Uh, and so that was the first big uh, adventure for these boots. And it was just after the point that they stopped hurting my feet. So these are a little bit of a bear to break in, uh, if you don't know. Um, and I kind of forgot, I had one pair of Red Wings a long time ago that uh, I got rid of because they had steel toes and they were a little too intensive for what I was doing. And um, when I bought these, I actually had my eye on a different pair, um, but I had an amazing, uh, Red Wing, you know, rep guy, sales guy, whatever you want to call him, uh, shout out to Spencer, and, um, he was just really cool, he's like, hey, I also have narrow feet, you know, um, I know you've been kind of looking at this pair, and I did try that first pair on, and then he brought, uh, these, which I believe, if I remember correctly, are called the Super Souls, um, and I really liked them because the, uh, the soles are, I believe it's, like, water-resistant and, um, possibly resistant to like electricity. I don't remember what all the crazy things are, but they're also just really thick and, and durable and uh, long lasting. So uh, in terms of my day to day schedule, I mean, I walk around town, I walk around my job and uh, I'm up and down, you know, running and playing with the kids. So um, I like these because uh, maybe a little overkill, but uh, I know that I don't have to worry about them and they're very comfortable uh, once now that they're broken in and um, really not too hard to maintain. Um, the first time I did this uh, is this footage here, and I think this month I'm going to take them into Red Wing um, and have them take a look uh, for me, um, and uh, have them just do the maintenance this time so that I kind of get a feel for that and just see how I'm doing to make sure 100% that these are uh, up to snuff, especially considering we're in the midst of a pretty brutal Minnesota winter. You know, these guys have survived some very cold temperatures, and there we go, we're done. Take a look at those boots. They look awesome. They're just, I love that red color. Um, for what I can see of it, it's uh, it's really nice. So there's the the finished guys all uh, oiled up, ready to ready to get back on the road, I suppose. But uh, I really like these boots. I think they're comfortable. I think they're something that suit me really well. And I'm hoping uh, there's the possibility, at least, that I may never have to pay for another pair of everyday shoes. Uh, again, or at least f not for a good long while. That is the hope anyway. So now that we're done with that part, we got to lace them up. And it uh, wasn't too bad of a process tactily. Just uh, working on finding the, you know, 
uh, evenly spaced. You're trying to like button up a shirt, um, trying to make sure that I don't mess it up. And on, um, I believe on this, I had forgotten to film one of them or the other or something like that. And, uh, but this is just the process. And I have these little flag pins in the middle, so you'll uh, get a look at that. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd uh, show this process. If you have any questions about how I did this, you know, as a uh, visually impaired person, you know, blind person, whatever you want to call it, you know, I say I did it non-visually, um, let me know. Um, it was honestly not too bad because it's a very tactile, it's a, it's a process that lends itself well uh, to having been done tactically. So, starting to lace up boot number two. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or anything like that, let me know in the comments. This is something a little different. I haven't done anything like this on the channel just yet, but figured it was worth showing off this process to you. Um, but I hope you have enjoyed my uh, my rambling and talking about the things on my feet. Um, if you have, go ahead and give it a like. And uh, if you have any questions or anything else, let me know in that wonderful comment section down there. I uh, hope you're having a fantastic start to 2023. And uh, we'll get you a picture of the, the finished boots ready to rock and roll, and I will uh, get out of here. But thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.